Hello, friend. Thank you for being here today. I'm glad you can make it. Um... <clears throat> so I recently got a new puzzle. It's a Finding Dory puzzle. Got it from my friend Dory. It is uh, a puzzle of Dory and her friends. Um, and I was hoping that you would be willing to help me put the puzzle together. You see, we have um, three missing pieces left here to put in there. This one here with the number one. This spot here with the number two. And this one over here with the number three. And, um... Good thing I have three puzzle pieces. And the puzzle pieces are Nemo, Hank, and Dory. <clears throat> now I need to... Oops. Uh, try to figure out which of these spaces uh, these each of these characters go. We'll have to think about it a little bit. So maybe we'll start with Dory. Oh, sorry. My finger's out of the way. There we go. Dory. <laughs> um, now, th the thing with Dory to pay attention to is Dory's shape, right? Dory's shape is kind of like round, and then on the back where the tail is, is kind of like a triangle shape. So Dory is kind of like a circle with a triangle on the back of it, right? Do we see any spots that might be able to fit Dory? We could check with spot number one. Spot number one kind of looks like it's a ball with some noodles coming out of it, right? That's might not be the right spot. Spot number two, well, that's kind of round and a triangular shaped tail on it. Should we try and see if spot number two is the correct spot for Dory? Oh, no, that's not it. That doesn't quite fit. Um, so Dory does not go in spot number two. And we've already figured out by looking that Dory doesn't quite fit in spot number one either. Um, <clears throat> so that means there's only one other option for where Dory could fit. And that is spot number three. As we look at spot number three, you can see that it's a little bit circular shaped, right? For Dory's body. And then uh, kind of like a triangle for the tail. And since it isn't number one or number two, we know that Dory has to be in number three. So let's go ahead and put Dory in spot number three. All right. Looks like it fits. Um... Now we only have two spots left, spot number one and spot number two. Um, so we already kind of... Well, actually, let's take a break from doing the pieces and let's talk about Dory for one minute, right? Um, Dory, did you know that Dory is a blue tang fish? That's pretty cool. I think blue tang fish are very small fish. Even though in the, you know, movie, Dory looks relatively large, I think Dory is a pretty small fish. <clears throat> Let's go with, um, Hank, right? Let's see. Hank is kind of... Got his body here, and he has long tentacles, right? Long tentacles coming from him. Uh, do you see, see any spots that have tentacle shapes coming from it. Is it spot number two? 
I don't know if that's right. That looks a little too small for Hank. Let's see if he fits. No, oh, Hank doesn't fit in spot number two. So that means Hank has to fit in this spot that looks kind of round with noodles coming out of it. Those noodles <laughs> shapes, that must be tentacles for Hank. So it has to be Hank going in spot number one. Nice. Looks like it fits. Now, Hank is not a fish. Hank is an octopus. An octopus aren't fish. Octopus are cephalopods. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. Now, we only have one spot left. Oops. We only have one spot left, and that's the number two spot. And that's going to have to be for Nemo. There we go. It's interesting. Nemo kind of had a similar shape to, whoops, um, to Dory, right? Kind of round for the, the body. Whoops. Body's kind of round. And the tail fin was um, a little bit triangular shape, a little more rounded for um, Nemo. And a lot sharper fins on Dory. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it looks like we completed this puzzle. That's kind of fun. Um, and I do have two more puzzles that we can work on another day. But today, I think that's all I have for time for working on this puzzle. Um, if you are interested in this puzzle, I might be able to share something in the link um, that you could uh, download it and print it off and have like a paper puzzle. That'd be kind of fun. But yeah, if you're watching uh, this on YouTube at 2.54 p.m. Central Standard Time on December 1st, you are watching live. And if not, uh, that's okay too. I really appreciate you um, watching and helping me complete this puzzle. Oh, and before we go, I, we did talk about Dory being a blue tank fish, and we talked about Hank being an octopus, which are cephalopods, but we haven't talked about Nemo. Um, is Nemo a fish? Yeah, Nemo is a fish. Um, and Nemo is a clownfish. Clownfish are orange. So yeah, next week I'll probably have a different puzzle that we can work on. Uh, it'll be a Finding Dory puzzle with different characters and uh, a different scenery. But thank you uh, for helping me complete my puzzle. Have a great day, everyone.